When Nintendo released F-Zero X in 1998 for the Nintendo 64, they brought the exhilarating, futuristic racing action of the original F-Zero into a whole new dimension. Building on the success of F-Zero on the SNES, Nintendo transformed this iconic racing game with enhanced graphics, faster gameplay, and innovative features that would influence the genre for years to come. With intense speeds, challenging courses, and a groundbreaking 60 frames per second performance, F-Zero X was a technical marvel on the N64 and remains a fan favorite in the series. The development began with a clear goal, to create a racing experience that pushed the limits of speed and fluidity. Nintendo EAD, Nintendo's internal development division, was responsible for this ambitious project. The team was led by Toshihiro Nagoshi and included several key developers who had worked on the original F-Zero and Super Mario Kart games. Taking advantage of the N64's capabilities, the developers wanted to shift the series from 2D to 3D without sacrificing the speed and fluidity that defined F-Zero. The leap from the SNES's 16-bit graphics to the N64's 64-bit power allowed the team to create a more immersive racing experience with fully 3D tracks, more detailed environments, and increased racing intensity. However, developing a game that balanced both high speeds and consistent performance on the N64 was a significant technical challenge. To achieve smooth gameplay, the developers made the critical decision to maintain 60 frames per second, an impressive feat for a console game at that time. They chose a streamlined visual style that focused on delivering fast, fluid action rather than intricate graphical details. As a result, F-Zero X became one of the few N64 games that could run at such a high frame rate, setting it apart from other racing titles on the system. While F-Zero X is a racing game first and foremost, it builds upon the universe and characters introduced in the original F-Zero. The game is set in a futuristic world where F-Zero races have become immensely popular across the galaxy. Racers from all walks of life, including human and alien participants, join the F-Zero Grand Prix to compete in high-speed, high-stakes tournaments. The game introduces a vast roster of characters, each with their own unique vehicles, racing styles, and personalities. Here are some of the most iconic racers, Captain Falcon, a bounty hunter, and the series' most iconic character. Captain Falcon pilots the Blue Falcon and remains one of the most balanced racers in terms of speed and control. Samurai Goro, a rival bounty hunter with a grudge against Captain Falcon, Goro races in the Fire Stingray, a heavy machine with excellent acceleration but tricky handling. Pico, a violent alien from the planet Death Wind, Pico's machine, the Wild Goose, is durable and can take a beating, which suits his aggressive style. Dr. Stewart, a highly skilled surgeon doctor, Stewart pilots the Golden Fox, a fast but fragile vehicle that requires precision control. With a roster of 30 unique racers and vehicles, it brought depth and variety to the series, with each character providing a different experience on the track. Although there isn't a detailed story mode, players learn about the racers' backgrounds and personalities through the game's manual, which adds a layer of intrigue to the Grand Prix. The game stands out for its high-speed racing, tight controls, and a strong emphasis on skill. With its intense tracks, innovative features, and engaging multiplayer options, the game set a new standard for racing games on the N64. In F-Zero X, players control anti-gravity hovercraft that can reach breakneck speeds on futuristic courses. The vehicles are designed for quick maneuvering, allowing players to make sharp turns and dodge obstacles at high speeds. The game's physics create a thrilling sense of momentum, with players needing to manage acceleration, braking, and cornering. Each vehicle has its own handling, speed, and durability, creating variety and encouraging players to experiment with different machines. The tracks are known for their creativity and challenge. From loops and corkscrews to vertical drops and narrow pathways, each course requires precision and skill. Some tracks feature magnetic strips that let players race upside down or on walls, adding to the intensity. The game features four main difficulty levels, Novice, Standard, Expert, and Master, with each level increasing the challenge of the courses and AI opponents. In addition to Grand Prix mode, players can tackle Time Attack, Practice, and VS modes. Unlike many racing games, F-Zero X introduces a unique health and boost system. Players have a health bar that depletes when they take damage, either from hitting walls or colliding with opponents. Boosting also drains the health bar, creating a risk-reward balance that adds strategy to the gameplay. 
players can refill their health by driving through designated pit zones on the track. This mechanic forces players to weigh the benefits of boosting against the need to maintain health, adding depth to each race. Death Race is a special mode where players are tasked with eliminating all other racers on a single course. This mode emphasizes combat and adds a fun, destructive twist to the racing formula. The X Cup, unlocked after completing the main game modes, allows players to race on procedurally generated tracks. Each race in the X Cup is unique, giving the game significant replay value as players try to master randomly generated courses. The game's multiplayer mode lets up to four players compete in split screen, maintaining smooth performance even with multiple players on screen. The local multiplayer provided hours of fun and fierce competition, making it one of the N64's go-to titles for racing with friends. F-Zero X was the first entry to use full 3D graphics, making it a breakthrough for the franchise. This shift allowed for more dynamic track designs with loops, twists, and other elements that would have been impossible on the SNES. The game is notable for running at 60 frames per second, a rare feat on the N64, especially for a game that supports four-player split-screen. This high frame rate contributed to the sense of speed and fluidity that made it stand out. The X-Cup mode was an experimental feature that allowed for infinite replayability. By randomly generating tracks, it ensured that no two races were the same. The X-Cup was groundbreaking for its time, and is considered a precursor to modern procedural track generation in racing games. In Japan, F-Zero X received an expansion kit for the 64DD add-on. This expansion, released in 2000, included new tracks, vehicles, and even a track editor, which allowed players to design their own courses. Although it wasn't released outside Japan, this expansion remains highly sought after among collectors. The influence of F-Zero X can be seen in many later racing games, especially those featuring high-speed futuristic settings and challenging tracks. The game's technical achievements and unique gameplay mechanics helped set the stage for future racing titles like Wipeout, Extreme G, and even Mario Kart 8. F-Zero X for the N64 is an exceptional entry in the F-Zero franchise and a landmark title in the history of racing games. Its high-speed gameplay, innovative mechanics, and technical feats set it apart as a one-of-a-kind racing experience that pushed the limits of the N64 hardware. With its impressive 60 frames per second performance, challenging track designs, and memorable characters, it has earned a lasting place in gaming history as one of the best futuristic racers of all time. Whether you're a fan of racing games, retro gaming, or simply love the thrill of high-speed action, F-Zero X remains a must-play. Its legacy continues to influence racing games today, and it's remembered as a game that truly captured the exhilarating spirit of racing at the speed of light.